For now, I want to bring in Bloomberg government's Neela Richardson. Neela, you've said this is a vicious cycle for Fannie and Freddie, and you were a former spokesman for Freddie Mac. Where do they go from here with this downgrade? Well, let's take a, a moment to review why this is a vicious cycle, Margaret. You know, Freddie and Fannie were under tremendous pressure in 2005 throughout the, the boom and the bust of the housing market to buy subprime securities. First, they were under pressure from the regulators who wanted to increase the affordable housing goals for e both of the agencies. And secondly, by investors who wanted a piece of that very lucrative pie known as subprime securities. What, the, what Freddie and Fannie did was they invested in triple A highest rated subprime securities, only the highest rated tranche. Now we know that those AAA securities were basically junk and they are being downgraded today by the very same agency who rated those uh, securities AAA in the first place. The irony here is unescapable. Bill, let me ask you this. I mean, I've been following the Dodd-Frank reforms quite closely. There have been a lot of dissenters talking specifically about the GSEs. Peter Wallison is one of them who is the dissenting member on the Financial Crisis Inquiry Commission. You know, he's called for getting rid of the GSEs entirely. Do you think you'll hear more critics now that sort of agree with a Wallison about what to do with the GSEs? Is this their opportunity? Those critics have been around for a long time, Margaret. The calls to get rid of the GSEs have come from a lot of places in the mortgage universe, including Wall Street. It's a very lucrative business, or it used to, it used to be when house prices were rising. And so there is a lot to divide within the GSC portfolios. But the question is, with the Freddie and Fannie uh, securitizing most of the mortgages that are originated today, who takes over this market and can they do so in a way that keeps mortgage rates affordable and keeps American homeowner access to the 30-year mortgage? That's the question going forward. Maybe this market can be privatized, but by whom and when are important questions also. Neil, speaking of mortgage rates, do you think because of the downgrade for Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, they do guarantee they originate a number of mortgages, um, does this make mortgage rates higher or do mortgage rates get keyed off of what is happening in the Treasury market? Mortgage rates are traditionally uh, benchmarked by U.S. Treasury. So as long as midterm rates hold, and we have seen that yields have actually gone, gone down. So there, it's not anticipated that at this time mortgage rates will go up significantly. But the question is what this holds from, for the future. Will uh, other uh, downgrades in terms of uh, actual securities investments be part of this overall downgrade of Freddie and Fannie Mae? If that happens, who knows what's going to happen to uh, the cost of buying a mortgage going forward. And then in terms of Dominic Chu was just on right before you talking about some of the other agencies that may be impacted. Anyone that you're watching closely, he was talking about the Federal Farm Credit uh, Agency, but any of those that could really impact a large industry? Well, all of these agencies in total, the downgrade leads to uncertainty in markets in general. Um, the U.S. government and then all the uh, agencies and institutions that the government supports, it increases uncertainty in the market. So while the direct effects may be limited into particular industries, we know that this uncertainty has spread from the bond markets, from credit markets into equities, and we don't know how investors take the news of any kind of institutional downgrade at this level.